One of my priorities of this channel is to explain ingredients and how they work. I am going to tell you about one of my most favorite ingredients today and all the benefits it has for your skin. Hi, if you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Issa, and I'm a practicing doctor, and I am very passionate about preserving our beauty with the appropriate skincare once we get into our 30s, 40s, and after. Salicylic acid has so many benefits to your skin. I've used salicylic acne wash since I was a teen. I started using it for acne, but even when I grew out of that, I noticed that it was an amazing product for exfoliation. And because I'm a creature of habit, I just kept using it. What I didn't know is that salicylic acid is one of the biggest secret weapons you can utilize as you get older. You will not believe how many advantages it really has. So it was first derived from the bark of willow trees and the chemical structure is very close to the ingredient in aspirin. And just like aspirin, it is anti-inflammatory. The anti-inflammatory properties are great for suppressing acne, but it is also amazing for anti-aging because inflammation can cause aging. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. So there are lots of BHAs and AHAs that you probably see on labels and very likely in your skincare routine perhaps in your cleansers, in your serums, creams, and even peels. They're just everywhere. So I just wanted to differentiate AHAs and BHAs. Alpha hydroxy acids are a class of chemical compounds that occur naturally in fruits, milk, and sugarcane. The AHAs most commonly used in cosmetic products are glycolic acid, which is derived from sugarcane, and lactic acid, the same substance that gives you muscle burn when you exercise. Other AHAs used include citric acid, also found in oranges, lemons, and etc. So they can be derived naturally or made synthetically. So let's go back to salicylic acid and see how it works. The main thing it does is that it exfoliates and removes dead cells from inside pores and on the surface of skin. How does it do this? Well, it is a topical carolytic. What does that mean? It breaks the bonds in between skin cells on the uppermost layer. Once it does this, these cells break off and leave you with fresh new ones. So your skin has a bright, rejuvenated look. It actually does this by lowering the pH of your skin. As it removes old skin, salicylic acid also encourages new cell growth, ultimately offering relief from several skin issues, including acne, blackheads, whiteheads, psoriasis, hyperpigmentation, and wrinkling associated with aging. So again, it helps with anti-aging by speeding up the cell regeneration process that gets slow as we get older. Salicylic acid, unlike alpha hydroxy acids, is also lipophilic, which means it is attracted to lipids. In essence, the structure allows it to get deep down into your pores and unclogs them. Plus the fact that it has antibacterial properties leads to less acne, blackheads, and breakouts. Once it gets down into the pores, the acid part of the molecule can dissolve some of that intracellular glue that holds the cells together, which helps them from getting clogged. So, all together, the benefits include, number one, unclogs pores and keeps them from getting pl plugged up. This translates to less acne, whiteheads, and blackheads, yes. Also, it can brighten and improve pore size. Number two, it can reduce inflammation and redness on current acne situations. Number three, its exfoliative properties makes it stellar at sloughing away dead skin and giving a glowy, brighter appearance. Also makes your skin softer and more supple. Number four, it prevents new fine lines. With consistent use, the exfoliative properties 
have been shown to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles by promoting collagen growth. And number five, also because of its exfoliated properties, it may increase the efficacy of active ingredients of other products. Remember, other acids, AHAs like glycolic acid and lactic acid, can also exfoliate the skin, but are water soluble. This means that they do not penetrate through the lipid layers between the skin cells and into your pores like salicylic acid, which is oil soluble, does. Another wonderful thing is that it only needs a short contact time to work, which is why it is effective in a face wash. And this has been my favorite way to use it. The longer the contact time, for example, in a cream could potentially be more irritating to your skin. But my favorite way to use it is in a face wash. And though you wash it away, its effects are long lasting. So who can it be advantageous for? It's usually good for people with oily to normal to combination skin types. Products containing salicylic acid may also help with psoriasis, dandruff, or even seborrheic dermatitis. If your skin is overly sensitive or you have rosacea, it might be irritating. So I would be kind of careful. Also, if you suffer from eczema on your face, it could irritate that as well. So when and how do you use it? I use it in the morning. This is because I use a retinol at night and so it might be irritating to use with retinol. They both are basically exfoliating your skin, so I wouldn't use them in the same routine. I would also not use it with other potentially irritating products like other AHAs, for example, glycolic and lactic acid to begin with. Um, but if you find that using these products together is okay for your skin, then go for it. You can, however, use vitamin C after your face wash in the morning and then use it in the same routine. And if you wanna know my skincare routine, please click the link below for it. Also, it's best to apply a moisturizer after you wash your face to help with the dryness or irritation it possibly can induce. Also, you will always want to wear a daily sunscreen because it might sensitize your skin to the sun. I hope you're always wearing sunscreen. Also, be careful to put it around your eyes or into your eyes because that could irritate your eyes. It is not advised to use it when you're pregnant, but if you're using it and find out you are pregnant, just discontinue its use. That actually happened to me. Some of the cleansers I have used in the past with salicylic acid include CeraVe Renewing uh, salicylic acid cleanser, which is a very gentle cleanser and fragrance free. Um, they do not say what percentage of salicylic acid. Other products have about 0.5% to 2%. Um, and we don't know what percentage is in this product. Um, there's also ceramides, which are supposed to help rebuild the skin barrier in this product. Uh, the other one is La Roche-Posay Effaclear Medicated Gel Cleanser. This one has 2% salicylic acid. It also contains LHA, which is a derived version of salicylic acid, which also helps with exfoliation. Another one is Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. It comes in many different colors, including pink, orange, and green. This one I started with as a teen, and I used it for years with no irritation. I particularly loved the grapefruit scent, but always be careful of fragrances because you could be allergic to them or even develop an allergy to them. The Neutrogena has 2% salicylic acid. Neutrogena also makes the same product for your body and this could be effective for other acne prone body parts, including the chest, arms, and back. Another one is Dermalogica Active Clearing Skin Wash. This one has less than 0.5% salicylic acid. It also has mint and camphor, I think menthol in it, and that could be irritating. There are also shampoos with salicylic acid, including Neutrogena T-Cell, which could be really helpful for dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis if it's used consistently. And 
keeping your scalp healthy makes healthy hair, so I would highly recommend that. So, so I hope you enjoyed learning about one of my favorite skincare ingredients. There will definitely be more of these videos to come because I think it's really important to know what you're putting on your face, especially when you get into your 30s and 40s and you're trying to preserve your beauty. All right, stay well and stay beautiful. Bye.